Good morning. It is like before 7.30. 7.19. Ooh. Oh, this is good because we have 18 miles to do. Uphill. Uh, 3,600 feet of elevation and 5,000 of descent. Um, we, since we're going Sobo, Rich hadn't flipped his map, neither had I, and we thought we had 5,000 of elevation, so at least it's not that bad. But last night, your thoughts? I slept good. I it's slept. Good. Yeah, and there's cows mooing, um, which at first I thought was a train, so now we have a new game, cow or train. But there's water there, but we chose not to use it just because we're a little paranoid right now. <laughs> So um, we're gonna go almost five miles to the next water source and uh, we should have plenty. But I'm gonna put this away because I'm already starting to climb. Well, we are not quite two miles and man, our time is terrible. 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 Um, we just keep saying it. I don't know how in the world anybody does this 26 miles in one day. Nine hours in a way. Yeah, that's the record, nine hours. Um, even slack packing. You still got to go up all these climbs and there's lots of rocks so but look at all these pretty rhododendron i mean you get up a few thousand not a few thousand a thousand feet yeah i mean it's a nice morning we're both just a little appalled that normally every mile that we can do at 25 or below we're banking time and let's just say we're overdrawn right now but Hopefully things will get easier. Right, bud? We gotta warm it up. Warm it up. I guess we're warm, I don't know. Burke Garden Hostel left a cooler with water, which is very much appreciated because the water source here is apparently dry. Um, we would not normally filter from a cooler, but just with everything going on, out of an abundance of caution, we're filtering. So we're like 4.8 in. Well, we climbed 900 feet up, and here we are at Chestnut Knob Shelter. Um, we ran into Poppy, Sinatra, Dragonfly, and Charlie, and they stayed here last night, had it all to themselves. Looks like there's gonna be a view over here. So we'll go check it out. We're probably gonna avoid the shelter, just in case. Looks like a nice one though, it was a fire station tender's house at one point. Oh yes, we got a view. Check that out. This is why we climb. Knob. That's a good knob. Yeah, well, Rich said that something out there is Morris Knob. We just came around in that pano, cinematic pan I just did, is an amazing view that's not even on far out. So we are like seven miles from 623. Um, we should be doing some down for a while. We still have climbing in our future, but it's nice not to be doing it right now. But yeah, this is amazing. So pretty. Super nice view. Oh, I just hiked out to another great view. And just be going through a field and all of a sudden you'll pop out and see this. Um, we are eight miles in, which means we probably have like, I don't even know, uh, maybe nine more to go. A little bit, somewhere between nine and 10. And it's about 1130. So we're doing fine on time. Um, We've been going down and we're gonna go down for a long time. So all that elevation we have left is gonna be at the end of the day. Oh, bummer. It's been forever since I've come on a gnome garden, but here's one. 
almost 10 miles into our trip. Well, I came upon this and I just did a little squeak. That was all. He thinks he's invisible. He's not moving. You got a very quick reverse gear when you see one of those. <laughs> oh boy, howdy. Okay, hey we on, got get off we, the trail. We got to work on this. Look at him. We have arrived at Lick Creek and apparently a couple years ago, the bridge washed out. So now you've got to get across without the bridge. I suppose you could swing from the rope, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're likely going to take our shoes off. It's just deep enough to make us have to do that. <laughs> well, I took this little path right here and I did really well until the last rock and it kind of went out from underneath my feet, but not terribly wet. We're just going to put his Tevas on. I'm a little jealous because I would like to soak my feet. We have just passed Lick, Lynn Camp Creek and uh, we've come 14.6. We have a little over three miles to go, but we still have 958 up. <laughs> oh, this is a booger. We're just gonna take our time and climb slow and take lots of breaks. But we're both gonna be glad to get that out of the way. We just came past the shelter and there's a picnic table and some tenting. Um, yeah, I know. And tenting. We've come up probably four or 500 feet. Um, we have about, how much? Six. Oh dear, six. Um, we have about two miles to go. We're both really tired, but we're just gonna keep plunking away. We're gonna go tiger fast. Tiger fast, he says. We're going tiger fast. Okay, we'll try to do that. What you have right there is I'm pretty sure the last of our climb. It said we had like 36 left. That looks about right. We'll check it at the top. Well, we're a mile from the end and it's all downhill. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's some climbing. Oh my word. Let's get out of here. Sure, it's a pretty section though. Yeah, but it's hard. Beauty though, <laughs> really pretty. Good evening. Hi kids. Yeah, and this almost didn't happen because my peepers were about to slam shut. I'm like, how about the wrap-up? Oh, I, I tried to say that what there, we there did. Was, there was grumbling. Yeah, the last thing was it, but it's not. There was grumbling. So it was a big day, but we're back. And uh, we've, it's, this place is so great. We had dinner. We did our laundry. We got showers. And then tomorrow we're going to have to just figure out what's next. Yeah, these guys are doing a really good job here. Yeah. Nice folks. Too. Bear Garden. Birdie and Bob. Beer Garden? Bear. Bear. Bear Garden. I would prefer a beer garden. Well, but no, it's Bear Garden. I was so hot so hot and tired today, I would have choked a puppy for a beer on trail. But that didn't happen. So anyway, um, <laughs> we have got to figure out, we're, we're either going to go move the car up to weary feet, and then we like have a 30-mile section. The only tricky thing about it is by the time we get the car settled and get shuttled back to Laurel Creek, Souter Road, We'll lose a lot of time. Yeah. So, you know, tomorrow may end up a zero day. We don't know. A logistical zero. Right. Right. But, you know, um, the both, extra miles are, you know, maybe a little too much too fast. As much as we would like doing the 18s, um, my, one of my feet got a little mad about it. It's nothing major, but if I keep pushing it, it'll probably let me know it doesn't like it. I think she's doing really well. She's flying down the trail. Honestly. I just wanted it over today. That's why I was going so fast. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, she was headed to a shower. I, think, I was. I really was. So She would I, hike every day, all day, lots of miles, so she could get a shower and a bed every night. This is true. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was a great day. We pushed ourselves. Um, I think things are going pretty well. Yeah, so far. Yeah. So I guess that's it. And yeah, tomorrow mean, there will be no video... Probably, unless we can get back on trail. I don't think we are. Okay. We might. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.